Right, here we go. One in the series of one. This is the AFX172 Tiger 1 Sherman 555C. Classic conflict kit. Not a bad deal off uh, Amazon, Jadlin Toys, and so on. This one cost me, I think it was uh, the £19 mark, just over the £19 mark with the Jadlin Toys. Yeah, it's pretty good. They, it's, it's a fairly recent kit, come out this year, 2021, I believe. Um, came out individually, new mouldings and so on. You can see that uh, elsewhere on YouTube, the detail of them, but uh, yeah, nice put a box in there. And your jargon on the side there. See it on this side, here's your bit of bump. Bum, 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 bum. Of course, they've uh, featured Whitman's famous uh, Villiers Bocage final version, I think, wasn't it? 007, very interesting, that. Eh? Often wonder if there was a link with old uh, James Bond. If you have a look on uh, online, there are some. The question has been posed, but it uh, seems if it was only uh, coincidence. Anyway, I shook you on back, yeah? Nice couple of shots there. There we go. Looks okay. Anyway, onto the kit itself now. Should say, anyway, came with this part, this inner to the box, which ain't too bad. Quite sturdy, quite handy as well when you're uh, cutting bits off, you want to keep them there. Don't cut them loop and uh, now get the meat of it. Here we are, here's the old tiger. Put it down there. Maybe you get a choice of tracks with these. Yeah, you can either get it ready assembled. Or you can uh, go yourself. Oh, very interesting. With the old uh, individual links. Get the sack. But, uh, yeah, nice. Not bad at all. Like I say, no Zimbrit on it, but uh, very, very tasty. And now the uh, Sherman Firefly. Comes down the, uh, was it the Staffordshire Regiment, was it? That's the one that's. Uh, it's indicated that they probably did the deed. Oh, some nice little decals here. And the bonus. Paints and brushes. Well, the brushes are pretty good. And uh, paint's not too bad. A bit of cement as well. So, all in all, yeah, quite a nice, uh, good, good value kit. Yeah, of course, these, uh, these airfixes have come on in leaps and bounds compared to the boys that I started with in the... Uh, in the early 60s. Yeah, in fact, my first kit was a was an AFX Stalin tank. I gave up. And the old, dear old dad came to the rescue, put it all together for me. But uh, there we are, went on from there, so uh, yeah, not a bad kit at all. So, um, oh, I'm showing the instructions, haven't I? Right, here we go. Da -da -da. There's the warnings, usual warnings. Kind of the modern FX layout, nice bit of colour. There's your options for tracks. No engines, you don't get sort of a model collect type details. But um, there again, you're not paying that sort of money either. Of course, plastic panels, but there we are. Muzzle brake, two arms, so you get the impression and it's all the way through. Nice, nice bit of detailing, yeah. Links with the upper and lower sections, then it fold down and cross this way. Yeah, that looks okay. There we are, nice little colour scheme. And the Sherman Firefly, of course, not very much the same. Yeah. 
see the bogies around here. It's interesting comparison with the uh, the earlier kits. In fact, I've got those. I've got the uh, Apex Battlefront set here. Got the grandson. I was just washing all those parts up yesterday. So uh, yeah, let me get that over for comparison. Now. There we go there. All right. And you cut the scoop again. Yeah. 